Hey everybody, welcome to today's card number nine. I can see my world through the eyes of source. And that is another way of saying stop complaining <laughs> about everything because by accident you do not realize it but you feel that you need to explain the problem to everybody and you don't realize that while you're explaining the problem you're making it bigger because the law of attraction is responding to your thoughts and those thoughts um, while you're explaining something that has gone wrong is going to form a negative emotion inside of you because you are a joy-seeking being which means you are uh, designed to find the solution and because it takes a lot of energy to change your mindset to change your focus either something really uncomfortable has got to happen that you do not want to experience anymore and you focus on it in a, and you like it you'll pick it up very quickly so that's a really nice uh, general way of looking at this card because it does sound a bit fluffy but it's not hey everybody LA Junkie here thanks for tuning in and today's a good card I think I say that every day but it is because I want to talk to you today about choosing better feeling thoughts it's joy you're looking for it's a feeling you think it's the money it's the feeling that money that amount of money would bring to you or if you're if you're 20 grand in debt it, if 20 grand turned up right now you it's the feeling of relief that you're after even though you think it's that physical thing because it's the physical thing that you need but it's also the feeling that you're, that's associated with it and, and not a lot of people recognize that and that's where they kind of lose themselves because they keep chasing this physical thing and they don't realize it's the feeling because if you chase after something with desperation and in speed because you 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 need it and you're you're sending out these that you're frustrated and you're and you're ashamed or you're embarrassed or all this negative emotion associated with this with the money situation that you're in you're moving forward you know doing action but the law of attraction is responding to your vibration money is uncomfortable money is uh, embarrassing for me money is whatever and it's sort of undoing it or you save up a little bit of money and there's a problem turns up so you never get ahead and you know you think how do these rich people <laughs> get to be rich this is so hard and then you believe that money is hard and then it takes you down a path and a journey that you don't really like and this card is going to help you with that because most people like I said earlier are talking about the problem your beliefs are taking you the other way and your, your thoughts and your your vibration are, are, are keeping you stuck because your desire will always pull you you'll always want those things you'll always want more money and your your spirit is a growing energy source and so you're designed to grow uh, as, a, a, as a person grow financially and enjoy your life and you don't realize that it's it comes down to thoughts and feelings thoughts and feelings because your action isn't enough if you study people who've had mo who've got money and they've had it for a long period of time and they weren't given it they made it you're going to see very similar things and i hope this card series so far if you've looked at the video clips has taught you a or sowed the seed for that because they're you're going to see these people say the same thing over and over or if you read a book on this successful person or on that successful person they're going you're going to finally get it one day that it's mindset it's the mindset that your desire is going this way and if you believe in what you're doing is going to take you on that path to more financial success it'll work <laughs> it'll work and you'll and you'll enjoy it because you'll be like yes i'm on the right path so let's just take another, uh, let, let me throw in a video clip just to help you guys listen to the people who are proven, who are proven to have spectacular results because you can't argue with that. Okay? Thank you. I have to tell you, I'm both challenged and excited. My excitement is uh, I get a chance to give something back. My challenge is the shortest seminar I usually do is 50 hours. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm not exaggerating. I do weekends, and what I do, I do more than that, obviously, coach people, but I'm into immersion, because how'd you learn language? You didn't learn it by just learning principles. You got in it, and you did it so often that it became real. And the bottom line of why I'm here, besides being crazy mofo, I don't know why you do what you do. What is your motive for action? What is it that drives you in your life today, not 10 years ago, or are you running the same pattern? Because I believe that the invisible force of internal drive activated is the most important thing in the world. I'm here because I believe emotion is the force of life. All of us here have great minds. You know, most of us here have great minds, right? I don't know if I'm in the category, but we all know how to think. And with our minds, we can rationalize anything, we can make anything happen. We can, uh, I agree with what was described a few days ago about this idea that people work in their self-interest, but we all know that that's bullshit at times. You don't work in your self-interest all the time. Because when emotion comes into it, the wiring changes in the way it functions. And so it's wonderful for us to think intellectually about how the life of the world is, and especially those who are very smart. We can play this game in our head, but I really want to know what's driving you. And what I'd like to maybe invite you to do by the end of this talk is explore where you are today for two reasons. One, so that you can contribute more. And two, so that hopefully we can not just understand other people more, but maybe appreciate them more and create the kinds of connections that can stop some of the challenges that we face in our society today. They're only going to get magnified by the very technology that's connecting us. I hope you enjoyed that uh, video clip. And uh, so let's have a look at this card. And I like the way that I, I can see my world through the eyes of source. The eye is in the center of this person or this drawing. It's not by the brain. The brain is a, a supercomputer. And when you get hypnotized, for example, you can't help but follow the instructions given to you by the hypnotist because your brain just follows the the mind and if you don't believe that neuroscience shows that if you have brain damage you use the mind to access parts of the brain that have been damaged to repair them so maybe that's something you didn't know by choosing better feeling thoughts and by speaking more of what you do want and less of what you do not want you will gently tune yourself to the vibrational frequency of your broader perspective. To see your world through the eyes of source is truly the most spectacular view of life. For from that vibrational vantage point, you are in alignment with, and therefore in the process of attracting, only what you would consider to be the very best of your world. Now that should explain why there are super rich people, or and a lot of these people are self-made. And if you want to get more self-belief, because your self-esteem is so low that you don't have a lot of self-belief, then feel good. Feel gooder. Feel better. Feel good all the time. And do things that make you feel good until you charge yourself up to a level where you have more self-belief. It's only because you're condemning yourself or blaming yourself or you're ashamed of yourself for the mistakes or the experiments as I like to call them that you've made in the past around money. There should be no shame in that. It is, it is perfect that you made those mistakes because you'll never make them again. You won't, that, you won't trust that person or that business partner personality type will, will never trick you again and you'll become immune to the advertising and the marketing of the world because they want you to hurry up and, and buy things at this sale because they don't want you to think too much about it they know that if you think too much about it you probably won't buy it even if it's a good deal because are you really going to use it do you really need it and most of the time the answer is no otherwise it wouldn't be an ebay or a classifieds or car boot sales and it's all to do with the subliminal messages that uh, get shot across every you know, the internet the radio tv you are bombarded by information about trying to get you to hurry up and sign up or hurry up and buy stuff they want you to think that there is um, a, a limited amount or scarcity of of deals in the world so i hope this card has helped you because um, i've talked for quite a long time and if you can just start observing yourself a bit more you'll notice that you just talk about the problem and you think about the problem because that's what you've done 
That's what you see other people do. And you think that you have to do that uh, for a long enough period of time for the solution to come in. And it's not. Rich people don't do it. My clients don't do it. I thankfully don't do it anymore. And I see other people doing it all the time. So it's one of the reasons why I just had to make these videos. And even though I'm starting in a very general sense and, and with some fluff, as some people would call the law of attraction, it's still the best mindset training because it goes down into the internals, that what is really going on in your head. Your, your identity and your journey is based on your desires. You're, you're chasing your desires all day, every day, whether you think about it or realize it or not. So that's it for me today. I could go on and on and on, but I'll save it for another video. So take care, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye for now.